Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Imagine a world where doctors had to rely only on what they could see or what patients told them to understand what was happening inside their bodies. Before the stethoscope, that was essentially how medicine worked. Diagnoses were often based on guesswork or external symptoms, and while doctors had experience and intuition, their ability to directly assess what was happening inside the body was limited. But then, one simple tool changed everything. The stethoscope may look basic, but it revolutionized medicine in ways that we often take for granted today. So how did this seemingly humble instrument come to be? And how did it end up becoming one of the most iconic symbols of healthcare? Let's dive into the story of the stethoscope and how it transformed the world of medicine. It all started in 1816 with a French physician named René Lenec. Medicine at that time was in a very different place than it is today. Physicians didn't have access to technologies like X-rays, ultrasounds, or MRIs. Diagnosing conditions like lung or heart diseases was incredibly challenging. They used a method called immediate auscultation, which, to put it simply, meant that doctors would press their ear directly against the patient's chest to listen for any sounds that might give them a clue about the state of the patient's lungs or heart. As you can imagine, this wasn't always effective or comfortable for either the doctor or the patient. The turning point came when Lanek was asked to examine a young woman with heart issues. In this case, the traditional method of pressing his ear to her chest just wasn't appropriate due to modesty concerns. Lanek needed another way to listen to the sounds of her chest. Inspiration struck when he recalled how sound could be transmitted through solids. He rolled up a piece of paper into a tube and placed one end on the patient's chest and the other end to his ear. To his amazement, it worked. He could hear the internal sounds of her body more clearly than ever before. This makeshift tool became the first prototype of what we now know as the stethoscope. Recognizing the potential of this method, Lanek went on to create a more refined version made of wood. This early stethoscope was essentially a hollow wooden tube, quite different from the flexible, rubber-tubed instruments we see today. But the concept was the same, to amplify the internal sounds of the body, allowing doctors to listen in on a patient's heart, lungs, and other organs. At its core, the stethoscope is essentially a device that amplifies sound. When a doctor places the diaphragm, the flat round part, of the stethoscope on a patient's body, it picks up the vibrations made by the heart, lungs, or other organs. These vibrations travel up through the tubes into the earpieces, allowing the doctor to hear what's going on inside. There's also the bell part of the stethoscope, which is used to listen to lower frequency sounds like the murmur of the heart. The real magic of the stethoscope lies in how it helps doctors detect abnormalities. For instance, a healthy heart produces a consistent lub-dub sound as the valves open and close. If a doctor hears anything out of the ordinary, like a murmur or irregular rhythm, it can indicate potential problems such as a valve defect or arrhythmia. Similarly, clear lung sounds suggest healthy breathing, while wheezing, crackling, or other noises can point to issues like asthma, pneumonia, or fluid buildup in the lungs. In essence, the stethoscope acts like a window into the body, translating internal physiological events into audible clues. The stethoscope didn't stay static for long. While Lenox wooden tube worked, it had its limitations. It wasn't until 1851 that Irish physician Arthur Leard introduced a more advanced version that used rubber tubing allowing for greater flexibility and ease of use. This became the foundation for the modern stethoscope. Throughout the 20th century, several improvements were made to the design. One of the most significant advancements was the introduction of the binaural stethoscope, 
which featured two earpieces rather than just one. This innovation allowed for better sound transmission and made it easier for doctors to listen with both ears, improving the clarity and precision of the sounds they heard. The 1960s saw yet another major development when Dr. David Littman, a cardiologist, designed a lighter, more sensitive stethoscope. His version allowed doctors to hear even more subtle sounds within the body, greatly enhancing diagnostic accuracy. Today, the Littman stethoscope remains a gold standard in the medical field. In recent years, we've even seen the introduction of electronic stethoscopes, which amplify sounds further and can even record them for later analysis. Some models can also filter out background noise, making it easier to hear faint sounds in noisy environments. But despite all these technological advances, the basic principles of the stethoscope have remained largely the same for over 200 years. The impact of the stethoscope on medicine cannot be overstated. Before its invention, diagnosing conditions like pneumonia, tuberculosis, or heart disease was largely a matter of guesswork. The stethoscope allowed doctors to directly listen to the sounds of a patient's chest and make more accurate diagnoses. This had a profound effect on patient outcomes, as it enabled earlier detection of diseases and more targeted treatments. It also transformed the doctor-patient relationship. With the stethoscope, doctors could examine their patients more thoroughly and non-invasively, increasing trust and improving the overall experience for patients. The stethoscope became more than just a diagnostic tool. It became a symbol of the medical profession itself. The stethoscope also laid the foundation for other non-invasive diagnostic tools. Today, medical professionals have access to a wide range of imaging technologies, but the principles of listening to the body that Lanik pioneered remain at the heart of medical diagnostics. The stethoscope may seem like a simple tool, but its impact on the medical world has been profound. By giving doctors the ability to hear inside the body, it revolutionized diagnosis and treatment, improving patient care and outcomes. Today, it's hard to imagine a doctor without a stethoscope hanging around their neck, and its legacy continues to shape modern medicine. So the next time you visit your doctor and they use a stethoscope to listen to your heart or lungs, remember that you're experiencing over 200 years of medical history in action. The stethoscope truly is a testament to the power of simple innovation in changing the world for the better. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.